showed up to school like any other day, ready for grade three. About halfway through the day, our principal announced we would go home early. I got off the bus April twentieth, nineteen ninety-nine. Walked into the house. Mom was on the couch. I heard her start to cry. Or the parents who ignored them. Too close to suspension. There was no prevention. Were they just bored and wanted to be bold? They needed that attention. Think about my mom trying to stay calm while sending me back off to grade three. Couldn't have been easy. She hugged me, called me sweetie. When she dropped me off, she said I'd be safe. But a town can fall out in a moment. It's unnatural, and I don't understand what are the odds. It's unimaginable, and they were just kids like me, and so capable, and so capable. My fellow Americans, to the families who have lost their beloved children, I can only say tonight. That the prayers of the American people are with you, my fellow Americans. Our nation is shocked and saddened by the news of the shootings today. Schools should be places of safety and sanctuary and learning. My fellow Americans, there's been another mass shooting in America. We've become numb to this. My fellow Americans, my fellow Americans, my fellow Americans, my fellow Americans. The eight-year assault on your Second Amendment freedoms has come to a crashing end. And now I think about how it hasn't stopped. I'm 26 years old. It's still coming out the box like it's a part of us. Life's just dangerous. No need to be afraid. In your town, your Safe. In your town, you're safe.